so I'm not a huge fan of English poetry, but uh, this came up the other day, and it's one of my favorite poems. I'm going to read it. And uh, it's called Invictus by William Ernest Henley. And of course, uh, a poem means nothing unless you know the backstory. It was written in 1875. It was published in 1888, if I remember correctly. And uh, when he was a young man, he had a tuber tuberculosis in his leg and he had to have his amputated. And uh, that's the backstory of the poem. What the poem tells is his strength, his power and indomitable will of being through that. And it's inspired many, many generations. So when you read a poem like this, I'm going to read it to you. You have to truly appreciate this. It's one experience from a man in the 1870s. In his own words, it becomes so timeless, so empowering, and so beautiful. Because each person that it touches, it touches in their own individual way in their lives. That's what all great poetry does. So, let me take a moment to read this in the way that it was meant to be read. Victus. Out of the night that covers me, black as pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced and cried aloud. Under the begludgings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, Limbs the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. How beautiful beautiful man in that circumstance be so enamored with the powers of the divine to put it down in words like that think about that next time when you just want to write something I've written a lot think about that that's Thinking and feeling. And it's all great poetry right there. A man that could live a hundred years ago through his suffering. Can use it to inspire people centuries after his death.